The staff here always take a hands-on approach when caring for the dogs. Whether it's a daily stroll, or just making a big fuss of them, or putting up with the ones who enjoy kicking off. But over the last 12 months, the dogs have been cared for in the most extraordinary ways. And this week, I meet some of them. There's a gorgeous Goldie who's leaving her mark on staff. She's just wonderful. And everywhere else. Just a little bit, as you can see, a little oh, bit on the sofa. Bit, you know, it's like somebody's got to drop a tea. A distinguished old dear in her twilight years. Little old lady, aren't you? Uh, you could be a Doris or a Lil, but you're not. You're a Winnie. And a miniature mum to be with a massive bum. It's really hard to know exactly when it could happen, but imminently, basically. Lots of dogs need a helping hand when they arrive here. So you've got personality. But when you're a youngster who's larger than life, it takes a lot to get you down. Meet 18 month old Charlie, a border collie who was brought in with a dislocated hip just a few weeks ago. Here he is. Hey, up. Charlie! Hey! It's a boy. <laughs> He's had surgery to correct the painful problem. But he's certainly not acting like he has. It's like being attacked by a Sherman tank. Border Collies are traditionally working dogs, and they're known for their unlimited energy. We had a Border Collie when I was very, very little. He dragged me back up the path by my nappy or my vest. So you could say I had a nanny who was a dog. But you're gorgeous, boy, you are. You are lovely. Look at that beautiful face. What is it, fella? What is it? What is it? Tell me. Very presumptuous, this one. We haven't even been to pictures or nothing. Look at him. You wash him here for me. That's very kind. <laughs> very kind of you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. A multiple concussion when I get out of here. <laughs> He's very funny. He's a comic, old Charlie, but he's full on. Charlie seems happy enough, but I need to ask Sean about his road to recovery. So come on, Charlie, lead the way. Where are we going? <laughs> come on. I need a drink. Where are we going? Come on, this way. Come on. Good boy. There you go. Oh my God! Hi, Sean. Got any Valium? He's quite lively. Isn't <laughs> Look at me, lively. <laughs> he's a beautiful dog, though. He is. He's just a, he's, he's very affectionate. Oh, affectionate. <laughs> Doesn't know anything like it. <laughs> <laughs> but what about that dicky hip? I'll show you his X-rays actually. So here, Paul, you can see this hip should be in this socket. You can see these bits of extra bone around yeah. here. And that's why it's rubbing. Oh, baby, you've been in pain, haven't you, eh? You can even see how much muscle there is on his other leg. Yeah, the difference. Compared to the left, so skinny, like a chicken leg, really. So we've got to build him up now. That's what we're yeah, going to do. Loads of exercise. Will he have hydrotherapy? Yeah, so once, once his uh, God once help his me if I've continued. got to get in the hydrotherapy <laughs> pill with that. They probably drag me under the water. <laughs> God, I can't wait. But for now, let's start this handsome lad off with a gentle stroll. Now, this way, Charlie. Good boy. There you go, Charlie. That's that gentle, Charlie. Come on. He's the kind of boy you can't forget. Now, although Charlie has no problems exerting himself over at Old Windsor today... Who's this? The mood is, shall we say, a little less enthusiastic. Hello, fella. No, OK, he's not a good boy. Who's down here? Let's have a look. Hello. Ain't you lovely? She's too busy kicking off to even answer me. I'm going to find someone a bit more dignified. Meet 11 year old Patterdale Terrier, Winnie. I'm old fashioned. This distinguished looking lady had a lovely home life until recently, when her owner's new landlord said no to dogs. Passadale's only lived to about 11 or 12. So with the inevitable around the corner, Winnie's been getting special attention from handler Rosie. Winnie is on B&B Foster with me, which means that she comes to work with me every day, but then in the evening she comes back home and she gets to relax on the sofa and watch telly. 
Patterdales enjoy lots of fuss and attention, so Rosie has set Winnie's bed up in the staff kitchen during the day. The thing she craves the most is being with people. Oh, well, that sounds like a job for me. Where's that beautiful girl? She's the business's dog, aren't you, baby? And I love her name, Winnie. She Probably suits little, it, doesn't she? Little old lady name. Little old lady, aren't <laughs> you? Uh, you could be a Doris or a Lil, but you're not. You're a Winnie. She's lovely. Don't you ever get tempted to keep them? I do, but if I keep one, then I can't carry on fostering. You see, I'd be the world's worst foster parents, because <laughs> I'd lie, so they ran away. And I'd have them hidden. I couldn't hand them back. <laughs> She's such a lovely dog. She's really sweet. And little she? old ladies shouldn't be in kennel. I know, she shouldn't, no. But look at the poor. <laughs> it's an eight of win. Hey, baby. Oh, I think that's my cue. To make Winnie's final days as enjoyable as possible, I'm going to give our OAP the VIP treatment. I'll tell you something. I didn't sign up for this. Dragging golf clubs. They weigh a ton. Oh, God. They're called irons, aren't they? Apparently, Winnie's owners used to take her to the golf club. So I've brought the golf club to Winnie. I just need to uh, warm up first. Well, I'll have a go. Well, it wasn't bad for the first time. Oh, well, at least it was on the green. Well, most of the time. Paul! What? I thought you were meant to be entertaining Winnie. I am. Look, she's in her elements. She's over the moon. Look, Winnie, to make you feel at home. Winnie's not interested. Winnie's out of her. She said she might go on the veranda for cocktails oh, instead. I might come and join you, Ali. Come on, then. After a strenuous game of golf, I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers. Good health, everybody. Uh, what's in that bleach? Winnie, Winnie, look, she can't be sitting there and watching. Didn't she, want to sort of, like, watch golf, though, no, did she? She kept away. Yeah. As soon as she saw it, she vanished. I, I think there might be a reason behind that. I never let this down, will I? No. Never. Keep your golf. <laughs> Next week, folks, me and Winnie, we're doing wrestling. Yes. No, she doesn't fancy wrestling either. How about a turn around the grounds? Winnie, do you like cats, baby? <laughs> Winnie's livened up when she saw the moggy. Look at her. Look. Oh, Winnie goes into action. <laughs> that poor cat, Winnie. Well, the terrier instinct is still strong with this one. Listen to the cast. No, Winnie, you can't climb trees at your age. She's doing the old lady act. She's a moggy. <laughs> but while the moggy's not having a bit of it... Come on, Win. Here we go. I really want to give Winnie all the love and attention that she deserves. Come on then, sweetie. Me and you can go for a little walk. Come on, Bobs. Over the course of the last year, Bassasi have had more than 500 dogs out on Foster. You and I come to the beat of a different drum. There's been less staff on site due to COVID restrictions, so the foster carers have been needed more than ever before. Some dogs might just stay a week. For some, it's a month. But what if it's been a whole year? Meet one-year-old golden retriever, Jasmine. This gorgeous girl arrived as a pup almost a year ago, and she's been on foster with handler Catherine ever since. You cry and won't say work out. Oh, she'd break your heart, this one. And I can't believe a dog this stunning hasn't found a home yet. I think she's done a little bit on the floor. Oh, now I see the problem. Probably best I find out more from Sean. Good girl. Oh, what's in here? Uh, Sean, hello, look at Paul. this one. Oh, hello, don't. Jasmine. She's quite the favourite. Oh, she's <laughs> you can beautiful. Imagine. She's got every single thing going for her, except she does a little wee now and then. Yeah, she has a condition called ectopic ureter, and all that really means is the tube that runs from the kidney through to the bladder, and taking the urine, bypasses the bladder altogether and just goes straight to the outside. Jasmine's already had specialist surgery, and she'll be on medication for the rest of her life. But sadly, the cost, as well as her incontinence, 
might put people off. Yeah, I just think she's a beautiful dog. You know, somebody's going to fall in love with her, take her, regardless. But after a year at Battersea, I need to pull out all the stops to help her. So let's try social media. There we go, we should have one out of that. Oh, smash it. You're going on Instagram now. Fingers crossed there's someone out there who can overlook the odd leak. She's had 47 likes already. Hang on, you look like my brother, Paul. That's no good. She's so pretty, bless her, beautiful, but needs someone who can afford the vet's fees. See? Oh, Jasmine. I'll do me best for you. Try and get you to home. Yes, I will. Hopefully it won't be long before someone comes forward who'll love her. Puddles and all. Let the rain, the rain drop Unlike the rest of us, over the last year the dogs have been enjoying a change of scenery. Swapping their kennels for home comforts on Foster. Especially those who need to be watched around the clock. <laughs> Do that again. No, no, no. Meet Dumpling, a tiny 18-month-old mongrel with a big secret. <laughs> yep, Dumpling is um, up to duff. So Handle and Ass is keeping an eye on her at home. Okay, so this is Dumpling. We don't know how far gone she is, so um, it's really hard to know exactly when it could happen, but um, imminently, basically. I want to check in with Nat, but that means brave in modern technology. So I've brought along Anya from IT support. Come on, Anya. Oh. Are you there, Nat? Are you receiving me? Hey, Paul, receiving you loud and clear. I hate these video links. I mean, when I look at myself and I think, good God, I look like I've been dug up and hit with the shovel. Is Dumpling a miniature collie? She looks like a collie, but she's only about this big. She's tiny, isn't she? And she is very heavily pregnant. Do you want to see her big tummy, look? Oh, she's huge, isn't she? She's going to pop any minute, isn't she? Yeah, I think so. We've been, um... Obviously, monitoring throughout the night. I've done it with sheep, but I've never done it with a dog. Actually, I'll say that again. That sounds rude. I've delivered. <laughs> I've, I've, de <laughs> I've delivered a lamb. Yeah. And, I, and I've been there when my sow gave birth to nine piglets, but she didn't need any help. They just yeah. shot out. <laughs> Good luck. I'll speak Thank to you later. You all. Bye. all right, Nat. Say bye. Say bye. You're gonna say bye. bye. Dogs can't talk, one man about. <laughs> well, I hope for Nat's sake there's not nine puppies. She'll have her hands full. And speaking of which... It's been two weeks since Larger Than Life Charlie had his hip operation. <laughs> Good boy. And vet nurses Megan and Georgia have been working to build up Charlie's muscle with passive physiotherapy as well as a bit of bribery. He's much more settled when he's got that as a distraction because what I'm doing is a little bit uncomfortable for him. He's also letting off steam with basic agility exercises. Good boy, Charlie. It's just that last one, isn't it? The purpose of the pose is that he's having to lift his legs up over that and that is a normal range of movement for him. Well done. But the poles are just a warm up. The main event is over in the posh new hydrotherapy center. And I'm here to give my gorgeous boy some encouragement. How are you? You're all right. Charlie! Where's me boy? <laughs> hey, where's my boy? Oh, he's a lovely can I Yes, what's, you that? That. what's this? How you doing, fella? How's his leg? He's doing so much better. He's putting lots more weight through it. Brilliant. Today we're gonna try Charlie out on a special underwater treadmill. Get some water in, get him going. <laughs> What we're going to do with him is start him off at this height just to get him used to walking through the water. See how he takes to it and then we'll put the water up to give him as much support on his hips as we can. Good lad, Charlie. Water walking is great for Charlie because it supports the weight of his legs through the full range of movements. Come on, Charlie. Where's your ball? <laughs> what way to earn a living? Standing here squeezing a ball for Charlie. But look, it's working because he's walking along. I always think it's like something out of James Bond. You know, where they'd have James Bond tied up in there. 
goes, so, Mr. Bond. And then you tell them the plot, as they always do the villains before they leave them. Why did they do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I was transfixed by the water in there. I'm very sorry, Charlie. Back to the job in hand. Charlie! You're such a good lad. You're gonna come back? Come on, then, we go back. That's a good boy. But you're gonna have to turn around, Charlie. Now, don't jump out. Good boy. All right, then. So I'll get here. Charlie! Has he had enough? Yeah, I think he's got quite tired now. It's just a proper border collie. A little bit, a little, little. You know what I mean? But otherwise, superb dog. <laughs> Charlie! Come on, big fella. Come on, Bab. I've got treats, I've got a ball, I've got it all. Have you been for a swim? You're such a brave boy, aren't you? Hey. Good lad, Charlie. Although, heaven help whoever gets him when he's recovered. I'm trying to get back on my feet again. But what about Jasmine, that gorgeous golden retriever? It's been a week since I paid her a visit, and she's been winning more hearts on Instagram. But she's also still leaving puddles. Yeah, I've got to dribble. I need to understand how a new owner could manage these little accidents from handler and foster mum, Catherine. Part of her management is we always have this little go bag with her. Yeah. And we have spare nappies in case she had any accident. And we have medication in here as well. Oh, look at hey. you with your glamorous she's too nappy. Now. She is. Oh, no, she's going. She had enough. Something I said. <laughs> no, no. It's just a little bit, as you can see, a little oh, bit on the sofa. A little bit, you know. It's like somebody spilled a drop of tea. <laughs> to avoid any more tea spillages, I'd best learn how to get that nappy on. I put my hands in the tail hole. Yeah. And then I just guide it up her tail, like that. So you can kind of see how it's going to sit. Yeah. And then you just need to bring the little arms round. Well, it's like putting a baby's nappy exactly on, apart from the, the tail. Same. Yeah, exactly. Unless you've got a satanic baby. Exactly the same. You know, then it might have a tail. Good girl. Oh, look at her nappy. Nappy on, let's have a look at her meds. Because she has the medication three times a day, we've always just put a little bit of slice of ham in a takeaway yeah. pot. You see a bit of ham and think, oh, That's wonderful. It. So what we do is we just make a little pocket, yeah, and then you and can just squirt the liquid in, in yeah, and then she and can then take give it. it to her. What have I got for you? <laughs> Come and see. Oh, look at this. There we go. Good girl. Yeah, that was easy, wasn't it? Oh, you a good girl. So nice. I used to put mine in chicken and all sorts, and I'd do all that. Oh, isn't it lovely? No, oh, she really isn't any trouble. She just needs someone that will love her, nappy and all. Over in Surrey, there's been some very sad, but not unexpected news. Sadly, we lost Winnie a few weeks ago. Um, she was a really sweet dog, and we miss her terribly. But she had a great time here in Foster. She enjoyed the garden and going for short walks. And she got all the love and attention that she needed. So for that, we're all really grateful. Oh, sweet dreams, old girl. I hope there's plenty of cats and golf balls where you are now. But just as we say goodbye to one, hey up, dumplings had their pups. Hello. There's one, two, three, four little dumplings. My lonely days are over. Now five weeks old, meet Duke, Bo, Roscoe, and Daisy. Looks like you got your hands full, Nat. And if anyone's in the market for a pup, well, sorry, folks, these cuties and dumpling were snapped up in no time. And there's more good news. Our Jasmine has got a forever home. She's got to say hello to the sheep. Because, surprise, surprise, foster mum Catherine couldn't bear to let her go. Good girl. Come on in. Good job. A really nice surprise for my colleagues is that we've decided to keep Jazz permanently. It was hard to deny the fact that actually she was a perfect member of the household already. 
we have a very outdoorsy lifestyle. And that whole time when we're out and about, she can be nappy free. She just acts like a normal dog. She is one in a million. She's an absolute diamond. Oh, Jasmine, it looks like you've got it made. And how about Charlie? Well, six weeks after his surgery, he's taken to hydrotherapy like a Dr. Water. I'm up to the Good boy, yes, you are. He's been given the thumbs up for rehoming. I'm walking on air. And Lucy from Surrey couldn't resist that great big ball of energy. He's hilarious, he makes us laugh all the time. His favourite things are playing and cuddling, which are just the best bits of having a dog. Batsy gave us some really good physio training to do with him. Good boy! We're still continuing his hydrotherapy. Um, we've been going on longer, longer walks. It's really rewarding watching his progress and knowing that one day he'll just be running around chasing squirrels and other dogs and living a normal life. Atta boy, Charlie. Keep up those exercises and you'll be running rings around everyone. God help them. Well, that's about it for now, folks. Although it's been a strange old time, I'm speechless. There's been a whole lot of kindness as well. <laughs> you got your sauce of out. How do you feel about that? Me and the dogs will see you later in the year. She's gone all May West on me. So stay safe and look after one another. Yeah, I love you too. Because surely sunnier times are ahead. Yeah.